I'm Louise Minchin. Normally you see me presenting BBC Breakfast, but in just a few weeks' time I'm going to Chicago to represent GB, yes, my country, in my age group in triathlon, and I'm very excited. Luckily I have somebody to help me as well, Glenn, who looks after the Brownies bike. So he is more than well qualified to help me with preparations for my bike. I know it's a bit dirty for starters. What else do I need to worry about? Well, first I'm going to say that I don't just look after the Brownies because I also look after the girls as well. Yes, any, any elite, very great girls. Yeah, so any elite athlete representing GB at a major event, they will take me. I am the mechanic that yeah. does the bikes. First of all, I would start with perhaps cleaning it. But the first thing to do is yep. don't leave home without having it properly serviced. Oh, really? Okay. So I would, if you've not already got a good relationship with a bike shop, yep. get a relationship with your bike shop, have them look after it, get it sorted out before you leave so that you know that as you leave with the bike, the yep. bike is race ready. Okay. And then the mechanics at the event, or me, people like that, we would then look after the bike if there's been an issue in transit, if you want to change anything, we would do that. But we and if you're an age group, there we also get access to mechanics because so I've had the email. The age group team have a mechanic too, which okay. you can access. Yeah. It's not me, but it is a nice guy. So clean it. What else? Take it to the so you, bike shop. Yeah, I would suggest anybody has a good relationship with the bike yeah. shop and has their bike serviced regularly. And whilst you're not having it serviced at the bike shop, you need to look after it yourself. Yeah. You need to, the first rule of any service work is cleaning. And that means specifically this. So your drivetrain, which is, yes, look at that, that's terrible. So all this down here yep. is basically just dirt collecting yep. on the chain, which is then like a grinding paste, mm -hmm. working its way around all the sprockets and just wearing them out faster. And it won't change its gear as nice. It's going to be a little bit sort of... Slippy, and most so. importantly, that could affect your speed. A clean bike is a fast bike. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So nice and clean, yeah. nice and fast. Okay, yeah. and get somebody to check before you race. Yes, so before you... When you arrive at the... So when you arrive at your event... Yeah. With your, and you've got your bike and it's clean and it's and it's and it's dirt free you'll need to just obviously unbox it out your bike box have every nut and bolt checked just to, you're going to have to replace you know put your bars back onto where yeah. it came from yeah obviously make sure your setup is right that you're taking it off when you remove it from the box make a few marks or a few notes of where the bars are remove them box it put them back in the same place and then Obviously, have it put back right, nuts and bolts checked. And what I love about you, you are details man, because this you find offensive, don't you? Biohazard. <laughs> Biohazard. Uh, going to the World Champs, you couldn't have that, no, it's too dirty. Okay. Yeah. 